Hey guys, so here's October, and I think this might be our last urine fertilizer video simply because we had a freeze last night and everything is looking pretty bad except for the peppers. Peppers are making a comeback. More blooms, good growth, everything is pretty happy. This is the uh, control, believe it or not. Here is the commercial, the Miracle Grow. It has one pepper, but no blooms. Uh, the urine, still good dark green, darker. Uh, but let's see, I don't see any peppers on here. And then urine with wood ash. Let's take a look. I see some potential blooms. But again, like I said, froze last night. So we may keep an eye on these. We may keep an eye on these, but let's look here. I'm not seeing any peppers to pick. Although I have picked some off camera. Remember, every week I'm out here we're working on these guys, so I am picking them. Uh, here's a tiny little pepper. Too young to be picked. This is the urine. Urine with wood ash. Commercial is pretty sad. Pretty sad, but it does have one big pepper, so we'll pick that. And then we've got our control, and it's got some small peppers here and bloom, so we, we might just keep an eye on this. If it doesn't die, or I might pull them, put them under the greenhouse. What do you think about that? And it's got some tiny ones in here. But alas, it is not enough to bring it back from the weigh-in results. But we'll keep an eye on it, all right? So let's go to the tomatoes. All right, here we are with the control tomato. And we're still producing some tomatoes here. We're producing them on all. Uh, it's nice and lush right now. Actually, it looks like it's doing better now that the weather has cooled down a little bit. Still not as tall or as big as the other plants, but um, it is trying. So we'll go ahead and pick these tomatoes and see where we are. Uh, blooms. Got some blooms here. That's cool weather. It's doing good things for the, the plants in there. Here's the commercial. Also, we have a lot of tomatoes in here. I'm kind of hiding around. Does have some areas that are dying off, but you know, it always does, right? I feel like every time I come out here, I see the same things over and over again. Um, but oh, it looks pretty lush. It's getting pretty tall. And then we have the urine plant, and it also has a lot of tomatoes. More die off here. Um, but it was the tallest plant. And it's now kind of falling, falling over a little bit. So we've got tomatoes up here, down here, kind of all over this plant. Though I'm not really seeing, I'm not seeing any blooms, are you? I'm seeing die off here. Uh, and then again, I've got this one tied up because it was so, so tall. It was kind of bouncing all over the place. And then the urine with wood ash, we actually staked it up with this metal dealy bob here. And it's got uh, tomatoes all over the place, too. Larger size tomatoes. Uh, but I'm pretty impressed with the control. The control really seems to be making a comeback with this cooler weather. At this point, the tomatoes, uh, the taste of them has changed because of the cold weather. The skins get thick. And they're not very sweet. They're not good for eating. But I'm going to go ahead and pick them and weigh them anyway. And then, come over here. Oh, wait. I should pick those. Let me stop and I'll pick them and then we'll take a look at that. All right, you guys. And now we're over to the tomatillos. Again, here is the Control commercial. It's a miracle Grow uh, urine. Urine with wood ash. So I'm seeing, again, everything seems to really be responding to the cooler weather, but we did have a freeze last night, so it's just going to freeze on up. Uh, we do have blooms on the little control here, and it is um, the smallest and kind of leggy. Just kind of put these.
these over here so you can see. Come on, let go, let go. Oh, anyway, I'll just drift that over. So that's this plant. The um, control looks like it's bigger than it is, again, because I've got this neighboring plant leaning all over it. Um, I tried to stake this bad boy up, so let me just pull this back. You can see that is the control. We do have a couple blooms on there, and we do have some good-sized tomatillos. Um, so we'll go ahead and pick those off and weigh them out. The urine plant looking a little worse for wear with the cooler weather, but also has a few blooms on it. Interesting, isn't it? But definitely the top is dying off a lot. Um, this may have been damaged too, but it's really starting to to die. And then here is our uh, urine with wood ash plant, and it had so many tomatillos it's actually dropped a bunch on the ground. Um, also looking a little worse for wear. So I think today is the end of the experiment. But let me go gather up all of our uh, produce and let's weigh it out. All right, you guys. So I did the weigh-in today and I took all my notes from my, the weigh-ins that we've been doing all along and I transferred them just over to this final tally sheet. Before we look at that, who's the winner, and and by winner I mean who has produced the most food, I'd like to just talk about uh, today's weigh-in and review it really quick. So we can see that here are the peppers. Control had kind of like three peppers. Commercial had one. Urine and uh, urine with wood ash had none. Tomatoes. I really struggled with whether I should weigh the tomatoes or not, and the reason why is that they're not edible. So do I weigh them in? Do I not? But everybody had tomatoes. All all the different variables of plants had tomatoes, so I decided to go ahead and weigh them because I don't know why. You can ignore them or not. Either way, the end results are the same on who's the winner and who's the loser. And then the tomatillos, again, kind of staggering results here. Here's the wood ash, double double digits again. Here's the urine. Some of these, though, they're pretty small. Um, some of them are, do this one-handed, are itty-bitty tiny, but I figured if it was on the plant, I should weigh it, uh, including the husk. So, you know, like commercial gets an extra little half an ounce or something, and then the control. All right, dun-dun-dun. So let's look at overall all said and done this year. So let's start with the tomatillos. The control plant, all the weigh-ins added together, 776 grams. These are all in grams. Commercial, 1,022. Urine, 2,309. Urine with wood ash, 2,573. So that means urine with wood ash is the number one producer, also had the best looking plant, and urine. These two, I think, constantly were the best looking plants. Um, commercial was third by half, right? And then uh, control uh, was about three quarters of commercial and about a quarter of urine and urine with wood ash. All right, the peppers. Control, 106 grams. Commercial, 605. Urine, 631. That's neck and neck. Urine with wood ash, 874. So, one, two, three, four. Urine with wood ash wins. Urine is a close second, but really, these two are neck and neck, right? And the um, control is definitely number four. Even if it continues producing, remember we went out there, we saw it had some peppers on the plant today. It also had some blooms, but man, it would have to produce uh, six more times to get up into the running. So we're going to have to say boohoo control is the loser, but you know, that's what we expect, right? And tomatoes control 185 grams, um, commercial 585, 586, excuse me, urine 854, you're in with Wood Ash 986. So again, number one, two, three, and four. So consistently, you're in with Wood Ash wins. Urine is a close uh, or is a second, sometimes close to the commercial, sometimes closer 
to the wood ash. Commercial is a third, and then uh, control is fourth. So let me go get this commercial that I've been using. My friend James, the cat lover, hi James, asked me a good question about this, and I want to share that answer with you guys. So let me grab something. So what James asked me was, what was the NPK value of the commercial, this third place um, feed that I was using? So first of all, I wanted to let you know, I, this is the brand. It says vegetable and herb feed, but of course it's got fruits on the front. Um, tomatoes are fruit, bell peppers are fruit. So it wanted, or it says that it works for all vegetables and herbs. And again, here's the side showing a tomato is number one and it is a fruit not a vegetable but it's supposed to work for both all right so what's the npk the nitrogen is 18 percent phosphorus 18 percent and um, potassium which is potash which interestingly enough which is also uh, wood ash which i've been using from the fireplace is 21 percent and then there's the other variables so this is the pink stuff it's not the blue stuff it's a pink stuff because it's meant to be used um, with a sprayer or a watering can which is what I did and I used um, they've got a little scoop in there and it's one and a half scoops per uh, one and a half gallons of water and that's what I did so anyway that's the results of this year I think um, next year I might do some plants in the ground instead of plants in pots, which I've been doing for the last couple years. The plants in the pots are just unwieldy and, you know, maybe plants in the ground will give us a little different result. So anyway, here again are the results. Ooh, can you read that? And yeah, so that's the end of the urine as fertilizer test for 20.